check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go into layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands, all things fragrance. If it's your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time, and we have been focusing on genre perfumes these past couple of days. <laughs> if this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're going to cover next. So we're focusing on genre perfumes. This is an inspired by fragrance house. They have quite the lineup, quite the catalog. Um, they do have some serums that I have not highlighted quite yet. Uh, I have here Almond Musk, uh, but I'll definitely, hopefully be getting around to doing a wear test with that this, th this week. <laughs> Um, so for today, we are doing a head-to-head -head wear test comparison between genre perfumes Afro Retro, which is inspired by Byretto's Bal de Freak. Wonderful inspiration house this has is turning out to be. I already knew this, but I was just so excited and waiting to, to go through each scent. Um, so yeah, for today, head-to-head -head wear test. However, I'm already familiar with Byretto's Bal de Freak, and I know that it is a fresh type fragrance, and also um, how it dries down. And I had some layering combos in my head that I really wanted to put to the test, so I I did one today. <laughs> so we're not only going to compare the fragrances, I'm also going to explain to you how I wore the fragrance today if you're interested, but we will go over the scent first. So uh, Byretto's Bad de Freak, this was introduced in the year 2009 and it is an amber woody fragrance, definitely unisex. This is fresh, fruity, but not, not a sweet fruity. This is citrus type fresh and sweet. Not over the top sweet though. <laughs> so the notes in here are bergamot, lemon, and neroli. Then we have African marigold, bucus, right? Or buku. It's a green, minty, fruity, musty type of note. Then in the mid, we have violet, jasmine, and cyclamen. And in the base, black, amber, musk, vetiver, and um, Moroccan cedar wood. So this is this really does tone down or dry down as a very dry, woody fragrance. That's how it dried down on my skin. The opening is really bright citrus, floral scent. Um, you know, just the same type of citrus feel that you get from Byretto Sundays. If you're familiar with Byretto Sundays, you know that it's just this almost astringent, um, artificial type orange that, that I get, the, the, the scent of Byretto Sundays. I can catch that in the background here, um, but it's not as sweet and it's not as strong. So it's a softer take on uh, the same citrus that you can find in Byretto's own Sundays. So, um, got a little more of a natural feel to it as well. Now, after about 20 minutes of wearing the fragrance, it goes into this fig-like, um, you know, like what you get from Diptych's Oudwell. It's like a little fig type nuance, um, wanting to go the lactonic route and just te it just teases it though. It does not full on go there. Um, and I can confidently say to that today, genre's perfume here, Afro Ren Retro, it behaved the same way. Uh, I was I was just waiting. I was like, oh, is it gonna shift? Is it good? You know, is it gonna give me the same as the original? And it sure did. Um, you know, so I did wear the Afro Retro on on this side and the original fragrance, and that's it. <laughs> I have no more <laughs> Val de Freak here. Um, and that that was worn over here on my right side. They both behaved the same way. Uh, the the fresh the fresh notes in here just do not they do not allow this to go creamy whatsoever and like I said after a good uh, four hours of wear um, after you're enjoying that wonderful borderline you know fig wanting to go creamy you get a very dry I mean dry like you are parched for some water type of dry woody dry down here it's 
whoa, <laughs> I remember not being a fan of that personally, but if you are into, you know, wood, dry woody type fragrances or dry down with vetiver as well, then this will be for you just the way that it is. Um, however, I remember when I wore the fragrance on its own, I thought, man, I, I want something creamy here. Um, now I've been teased. I definitely want to try this with Fichi Ebana by Kaisi Perfumes. Um, so I did. <laughs> that is what I did today. I went ahead and I left the Byretto's, uh, Afro Retro, um, Byretto, Byretto by the Freak on this side, just from here up by itself. And on this side, the Afro Retro by Genre Perfumes by itself, just to see if it would stay on the skin and do all those transitions. And up here is where I went to town. <laughs> Um, so from about my elbow up, I went ahead and this is, so we're, we're getting into the Larian combo now. Oh, I had such a good fragrant day. I was so happy with this. Um, I went with You Pick as a body butter. This is by House of Glory. It is an indie perfume brand that I have reviewed on the channel. I absolutely love a lot of things from House of Glory. This has a apricot sweet summer apricots but i wanted to use them now <laughs> in a wooden basket apricot tahitian vanilla sandalwood and cedar so this has the sandalwood in it just like uh Bal de Frique does as well wait Bal de Frique doesn't have any sandalwood i'm sorry <laughs> it has cedar wood well this has sandalwood and it also has um and it also has cedar i'm sorry <laughs> it does have cedar and sandalwood and Tahitian Vanilla. Ooh, I love You Pick by House of Glory. Oh, when this comes back in, well, actually, I think I'm set. <laughs> I have I have the Body Splash. I have this. Um, let me show you guys real quick the You Pick uh, Water Spray. It's not. It's not a. It's called a refresher spray. I'm sorry. You can spray it everywhere except for your pets and your eyes. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> Beautiful apricot vanilla you know with that little woody base but you can't really tell it's more there so for longevity i feel you can't tell the woods the way that you can from the bal de Frit, for example the dry woody scent um so after that i went ahead and layered fichi Epana. so fichi Epana is a fig centered fragrance by the house of kais um, it has fig, milk accord, sugar, vanilla, and sandalwood, and it goes perfect. <laughs> it goes absolutely perfect here with Bal de Freak. I don't know why in Bal de Freak I get a fig-like nuance. I don't know where that comes from. There is no fig in uh, Byretto's Bal de Freak, but that is what my nose picks up, or that is what I imagine anyways. Um, so I layered this right up here for myself to enjoy. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. I cannot, I cannot. It was so amazing. It was like tonic the way that, that I wanted it to be, but yet I could still smell the Byretto by the Freak. It was so enjoyable. Uh, this alone, the Fiche Epana, can get too much. It can definitely get a little overwhelming. Uh, Cruz del Sur 2 by Zerjoff, if you're familiar, let me get it too. If you're familiar with Cruz del Sur 2 by Zerjoff, this is also a very, very lactonic, sweet, I mean, thick fragrance. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy this and it is more of a summer scent as well with the mango and all that. These behave pretty much the same as far as their composition is concerned to me um you know but of course the Zerjoff having that Zerjoff touch but um I would not mind throwing in some of this Bad de Brick to just cut through that thickness and you know that sweetness it it was just so so enjoyable um yeah so for example feature Bana I don't think that I I would enjoy wearing that alone in the dead of summer I would definitely want to pair it with something like this to cut through that sweetness. So, yes, this was a winning combination. It's still here. Oh, yes, I have Fichi Epana. Oh, my gosh, here in my heart. I have it 
everywhere. <laughs> and as far as the Afro Retro and the Balde Freak on my wrists, yes, they're also here, but they've already died down. So they go really strong, both the original and the genre perfumes version for about eight to 10 hours. I mean, strong. You can, you can smell it on yourself. You have a little bubble of this citrus, you know, um, just a wonderfulness. I, I enjoyed, I, I got to enjoy it today. Would I have enjoyed it as much if I did not layer my Fiche Ipana and my You Pick by House of Glory? I know for a fact that I personally would not have. <laughs> but that's just my uh, scent preference. I, uh, I, I'm I always joking that I like to turn everything into, you know, cake or, <laughs> or some sort of dessert. Yeah, but that's just what makes me happy. And that's, that's how I love to enjoy my fragrances. So especially at night, I have quite a bit of layering combos I've been doing at night that I cannot wait to share with you guys in a special video. So stay tuned for that. It's definitely coming soon because who does not want to have sweet, delicious gourmand dreams? I know I do. <laughs> All right, that was it for today. I'm so excited with this. Oh my gosh, I just, I was like, mm, this is so nice. And you know, and, and it wasn't the first time that I wore it. It was, I remember having to save the day with Victoria's Secret Bear, which also has the Australian sandalwood in it. And um, it definitely saved the day for me that day when, when I was just like, okay, this is dry musk and nothing else. Um, excuse me, <laughs> it was dry musk and nothing else. And it was just not going anywhere else for me. Enjoyable, you know, it was not enjoyable. That was it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, today, tomorrow, tomorrow marks one entire year on YouTube, sharing my thoughts and reviews and layering ideas and, uh, you know, just interacting with you guys. And it's been so much fun. I, I, I cannot wait to see where else this takes us. I mean, we, we've, we've come a long way, I feel, <laughs> making little improvements and changes here and there. I welcome anyone and everyone to shoot me an email if you know you feel if you want something else out of the channel if you feel like oh can you do this or that you know we can tweak it we can I love requests um, you know because then I know I'm putting something out for somebody that really wanted to watch that so other than that we will continue sharing the love of fragrance from this closet of mine um, and yeah tomorrow marks an entire year so wow <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm very appreciative that you've allowed me to continue going on for this long. <laughs> oh, you guys have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.